Hello and welcome to a bit of a pack opening extravaganza for the Topps Mandalorian series. So uh, recently I just got done watching season two of The Mandalorian. I know I'm, I'm several months, possibly a year behind, but I finally did it. Um, and part of the reason I kind of did that is I saw these in, in stores and I was like, you know what, I kind of need to finish that anyway. I really loved season one. Um, and I've as I say, I've just season, finished season two, and uh, what better way to kind of look back on that than opening a ton of trading cards. So today, I've got three kind of groups of stuff uh, that I bought recently. We've got the starter pack, the uh, multi-pack, and the just five like booster packs as well. So obviously we're going to start with the starter pack, and we'll work our way through. Now, it's been a while since I've opened any tops cards, really. Uh, part of the reason, to be honest, that I bought these was because years ago, and I mean years ago, I bought the Pokemon Tops cards, which were uh, really cool. I mean, it's not the same company anymore, I'm sure a lot of employees have left or whatever, but I'm hoping it's as, you know, half as cool as the Pokemon ones were. So we'll take a look, this is the starter pack. Inside are 20 cards, including two guaranteed parallel cards, a collector binder and a collector guide and checklist. So the main reason I bought this is the binder, to be honest. Uh, and it's security protected. That's that's good. I didn't want to tear this off. When I left the shop, it didn't set anything off. So I don't know what that means exactly. But there we go. We've got some uh, cards. Are those the guaranteed parallels? I don't know. And so three cards there. I'll look quickly on the back. But um, look out for these fantastic coloured parallel versions of the Mandalorian character cards. So I think these are like special, because parallel is just hollow, basically. And I think maybe they coloured hollow or something. So the Mandalorian character cards. And there are apparently 25 subjects. So there's the base version, which are yellow and unnumbered, I guess. Green to 299. Blue to 99, purple to 50, orange to 25, turquoise to 10, red to 5, and gold to 1. I don't fully understand what that means. Um, I can't... I don't know. I, I, I don't fully understand. It's either that there are 299 green cards, so if it's got a green border, it'll be numbered. And obviously gold will be a gold colour and just number 1 or whatever. I presume, because there's no way in hell they'd only print one gold version of each card ever. That would be insane. But, you know, we, we've got sort of a few, um, we, we've got a few cards here, as you can see. Um, yeah, I just kind of like the look of it. So, I'm going to stop rambling now, and we're just going to crack into this from the bottom. So, uh, in terms of pulls, what I'd like to get... I don't know, really. Um, I want to say there are like special Mandalorian cards or something like that. So there's a lot in. Ooh, oh yo, that's really cool. So we got some like, yeah, got some shots from the series. Uh, I know, I know it's a very normy thing, but I do think Grogu is adorable. Cool. We just got some like shots from the Mandalorian. Don't really know what I do with that, but you know, that that's really cool. Like, yeah, very, very nice. I'll put that in the background there. We've got another bit of, aha. So this, ooh. Oh, yo, that's really cool. So that's the collector's guide, I guess. That's how that works. Ah, and the checklist. Good Lord, that, that's huge. Right, I'm going to have a very quick look through the checklist, actually, because I'll hopefully be able to work out how rarities and stuff work, so BRB. Okay, so I've just had a read, um, so a really quick breakdown. There's a lot of, like, a lot of subsections or themes, if that makes sense. We've got Season 1 base cards, uh, so these are all linked to Season 1 of The Mandalorian. We've got Season 2 base cards. Uh, and then we have kind of more specific ones. There's some concept art. Uh, so I think these are the bits of art that feature, you know, at the end of every episode and get a bit of a slideshow of the concept art of each episode. It's probably that. Got Tools of the Bounty Hunter. You got comic covers. I'm, I'm kind of interested in that. That would be really cool. 
I mean, to be fair, all of these sections are kind of interesting. Aliens and creatures. We've got season one characters and season two characters. We've got crystal cards. Those are probably like the super premium ones. And autograph cards. Now I know Tops do those for like their um, sports cards and stuff, like baseball cards and things like that. So it's probably like that. And I think there's six of them. So there we go. That is the binder. And I think. Okay, no, I, I thought you could maybe slide something in the front here, but uh, unfortunately that does not seem to be the case, but never mind. Uh, but yeah, oh wait, no, you can. You can slide it in the bottom there and it goes up. Oh, I guess. <laughs> I got it the wrong way around. There we go. I'm, I'm a very clever individual. Uh, and, ah, and that's probably the cover for it. So trading cards, there we go. That's... Mandalorian, sorry, it's kind of bent because I can't get a bit. Oh, that's really cool as well. All right, BRB, I'm going to customise my binder. All right, there you go. So that's the binder. That is looking pretty cool now. Uh, and I assume there's enough pages for every card um, in the set. I, 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 otherwise, that would be very weird. And I think that's all that's left is the trading cards. Now, it's kind of mentioned that this has two premium parallel cards inside and this is a little regular pack so what I'm going to do I think is open the two things here we're going to keep these parallel thing cards and like packs to the end because that's going to be hype because we know the parallels in them I will admit I'm not crazy on that concept um, I don't really I don't really like the whole hey if you like buy this special thing you're guaranteed to get a rare because it it kind of takes away a bit of the excitement, you know? I mean, pulling a rare card is kind of the, the point of it. Uh, anyway, sorry, this is the multi-pack I'm opening now. Um, I just saw this in the store. Basically, I bought everything else, but then I saw this, I was like, ah, I could buy a few more, because there's a lot of cards in this set, and, you know, I might not... Sorry, I, I skipped that because that would have killed the uh, headphone users there. There's nothing really to look at. These are all the um, products. I know I did see that previously and I should have bought it because I think that comes with like 10 packs or something. It, it's like, it's not a booster box, but it's the next level, uh, next level down basically from it. So I'm going to chuck this to the side uh, and this to be honest. So what do we get? We got booster pack. Booster pack. Ah, there we are. And that's a premium thing as well. So I'm going to put these two to the side. We'll open these last. Because um, they're guaranteed to have something really cool in them. So, how many packs do we have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right then. One shy of. Well, actually, no, technically 11 if you count these two. Because they do. I think they're regular packs just with two parallels in them. Uh, so we're not going to do them in any particular order, I think. We're just going to go ahead and do them. Uh, drop the uh, camera a little. Actually, I'm going to represent position myself. Hey, there we go. Right, cool. Let's begin with the Ashoka Tano pack. Now, I'll try and open these kind of nicely. Uh, never mind. So, we've seen the odds and the like cards in each set. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I guess. Is this the way? I do not. No. We have a proper goodbye. So this is from season two, probably. Uh, let's have a look. It's number 154. Don't really know what that means, but a proper goodbye and that kind of... That's near the end of season two. Also, I assume if you're watching this that you have seen The Mandalorian uh, both seasons, because otherwise this is, <laughs> this is going to be a lot of spoilers. Hey, we got a concept art card. There we go, that's Grogu eating eating a nice hearty meal. Very nice. We've got a chapter 11. Cool. So yeah, th this must be um, the concept art at the end of every episode or whatever. That is pretty cool. Shoot out to escape. Very nice. So that's, uh, that's earlier in the thing. I'm not going to keep checking the back of all of them because we've got loads of them to go through. We've got a powerful connection. Oh. There's Grogu. Honestly, like the effects of Grogu in the series, they make him like look like a puppet, kind of, but also a baby, is incredible. 
Uh, we have fennec fires. Sorry, that, that wouldn't focus for a second. Oh, hey. We have defending the razor crest. Very nice. That's, um, that's when he teams up with Boba Fett, I want to say. Um, I think in season two. Very cool. We've got moving on. Oh, he looks very sad. Uh, very nice. Hey, we have no match for the Mandalorian. Ah, yes, this, uh, this is from season one, right? I want to say this is quite early on. Never mind. Uh, it doesn't say, oh, well, it, it's, it is taking me a while to get used to the differences in all of these things. We've got pinned down by Imperials. That's very cool. I think the next one is like, oh, so the next one, ah, so is that, is that a coloured uh, one? I can't really tell. So that's Boba Fett, obviously. That is a uh, parallel. I think it's coming through on camera. Uh, yeah, I guess it is C19. Very cool. I'm just going to check exactly what that is. Probably a character card. Oh, right. Sorry, I'm an idiot. I didn't actually bother reading the card. That's Cobb Vanth. Um, who is the guy that had Boba Fett's armour, but, um, you know, wasn't a Mandalorian. But yeah, C-19, that is a character card, apparently. Unfortunately, I did see this when I opened the pack, which is a kind of pain, because you don't really want to see your rare, do you? So I don't know if you're guaranteed a parallel in every pack. I, um, I'd assume not, because otherwise the whole two guaranteed uh, parallels kind of pack is a bit pointless because you're just getting one extra parallel but I don't know. Anyway, opening that a little bit tidier. Uh, now, is it, hang on, is it this way I want to do it maybe? Uh, oh good lord, it's that way isn't it? Okay, I think. Aha, yes, oh okay, cool. So we have a banther so this is a creature card, uh, aliens and creature, very nice, cool, hey we got a comic, hello friend, the legend continues, that's adorable, oh, yeah, so that's a comic card CC, there we go, uh, it's assumed there's not many of them, but hey, there we go, we've got the passenger, who is the frog lady, who wanted to go see her husband, so that her frogs would uh, spawn. We have uh, keeping her word. Very nice. So these ones are going to go through kind of, you know, quickly or whatever. The escape. Nice. That's, uh, that is Boba Fett, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe I am wrong. Let's see. Uh, we have do not self-destruct. It's always a good... Ah, now this is early in season one, I'm pretty sure, when he sees the IG-88. Oh, well, I don't think it is IG-88, it's an IG robot, right? Uh, the ATST has awoken. That is terrifying, not going to lie, but that's also a, like, season card thing. So it seems to be you get two special cards, like the creatures or the comic thing at the start, then you get the regular, then the rare at the back. We've got a friendly race. Very nice, I don't quite remember that, but I think that was season one, maybe, I want to say. We've got uh, Blowing Through Imperials, oh, I remember that. So that's near the end? No, it's one of the first episodes, isn't it? Because he doesn't get, have his Beskar armour armor there. And our special one, oh, it's another parallel. So I guess you do get a parallel in every pack, and it's just, you get two, maybe? I, I don't know. But, you know, we've got the, got the armourer, very nice, and uh, that is a C card as well, C9, so I'm pretty sure it's up to like C10 or 11 is season 1 character cards, and then season 2 is like until 19 or 20 or something, so I'm going to put that there, I will clear those in the background so I don't want it looking too messy, but we're going to jump straight ahead to this one. Uh, oh, I've decimated this pack, but okay. Unfortunately, the packs do feel a little bit flimsy. Um, which is a shame, really, because I quite like to keep some of these packs. They are pretty nice. 
Anyway, I've learned how to open them now, so that's something. Hey, we've got tools, the flame uh, projector. Very nice, that is of course something he uses a lot. Ooh, and is this concept art? This is. Yo. Okay, let's see, what episode is that? Chapter four, okay, cool. That's uh, season one then, because I believe there's eight chapters in each season. Uh, hey, we have Bo, uh, Bo Katan revealed. Very nice. Oh yeah, we've got good news for Moff Gideon. So uh, of course he is Gus from Breaking Bad, which is really cool. Uh, I do like me some Breaking Bad. We've got Searching for Padawan. Very nice. That's uh, that is of course Ashoka Tano from season two. We've got the client. Uh, he's the guy that wanted to buy Grogu. Uh, we have we reunited and away. Ah, oh, he's he's flying away there. Uh, next up, we have old friends, new job. Ah, is this when they like uh, got together? I think in season two again after the bank heist or whatever. Uh, granted a signet by the Mandalorian armorer because I think he'd uh, he'd earned his best scar. And our ooh ooh oh that's got a kind of gold border I think maybe but I don't know if that's uh, good or not. But we have a dark trooper so these featured in season two I do believe. Very nice. I'm gonna have a quick look at this. Okay, so I can't really work out. It looks like there's a bit of a gold border but I don't think it's a gold card or anything. I still don't fully understand how those work, but I'm sure we'll we'll understand when we get one. Uh, so next up is the fourth pack and then I'll move the stuff from the back there. We've got another Mandalorian pack, which is confusing because that technically describes every pack, but this features the Mandalorian himself. I can't remember his name, his real name. He did mention it, didn't he? But uh, that is, what? hang on, oh, is this turn, okay, I guess, ah, I guess maybe we don't have a hollow, wait, this looks like a very special one, okay, hang on, hmm, okay, so that's, let me put that to the side for a second, that seems like, that's, uh, okay, let me put that to the side as well then. What the fudge is going on? Okay, so these are turned around. But only those two. Cool. Right, that was a weird pack. Uh, but I think we got something pretty cool. The crew assembled. Ah, yes. I remember that. Those dudes. Uh, we have the Omra unleashed. Yes, when they tried to storm the Mandalorian hideout. Hey, we've got saved by the Empire. Question mark, exclamation mark. We have another assist from Kuil. Kuil, Kuil, I can't remember his name. Uh, we have chasing the transport. Oh yeah, this was cool. Uh, he like fended it off as they were pretending to be Imperials. That was super cool actually. The Mandalorian's a bold one. Yes, he is. Uh, Next, oh, we have concept art. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. Wait, what episode is that from then? Chapter two, okay. Oh, I thought that was season two when they were defending from the, um, the Crate Dragon, but I, I am wrong. Oh, yo, that's really cool. The legend continues, long live the empire. And it's uh, Moff Gideon with his dark saber. Let's go. That's, that's cool. Now, I know the dark saber is a slightly goofy name because it's like, what's the opposite of a light saber? A dark saber. But we got uh, Fennec Gand. Uh, she was in season two, I do believe. Fennec was one of the Mandalorians, I want to say. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments if I am. This doesn't have a border, but the dark trooper did. Is there a difference? I don't know. Anyway, right. What is this like... Sp oh, yo, look at that, dude! Like you could, ah, oh, that's the child. I don't fully understand what card this is. I'm gonna go check in the checklist again, but that, that's amazing. 
that's like, that's the best pull so far. Right, BRB. All right, so I just had a look, uh, and I should have just read the card, because it does say up there, Crystal. So this is one of the Crystal cards. Oh, man, that's nice. Also, I love the child, or Grogu, or however you want to refer to him as. Uh, man, I'm putting that in the back there. That's like the pull of the video. Right, I'm going to clear these up, so it'll be RB. All right, I'm back with another one. Let's get to it. Okay, that was... God damn, that was hype. So we've got a crystal card. Very nice. Uh, I think there's only one thing that's rarer than them, maybe? Or maybe crystals are the rarest, but it's very strange that it was like... Hang on. Okay, well, let's turn this around again. So we've learned to a lesson now. Sometimes if they're turned around, they could have good stuff. I don't know. Mandalorian Secret Passenger. Ah, look at him. He's a small... I don't know what the name of the race is. Do they ever actually make, like, name the race that Yoda belongs to? I don't know. But uh, the Mandalorian takes off with his jetpack. Although that's not how you wear the jetpack usually, Mando. Oh, I turned that upside down. Sorry, lads. Hang on. The Pirate Assault. Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's slightly further on from the chase I mentioned where they're pretending to be Imperials. That was one of the last episodes of Season 2. We've got the Negotiation. Very nice. Hey, let's go. We've got... Oh, hang on. Good news for Grand Moff Gideon. We've already had that. Aha, we've got the, uh, the Passenger. We've had her as well. Ooh. Oh, yo. I'm really digging these comic... Um, these, like, comic covers and stuff. I know they don't actually belong to anything IRL, but I don't know. I'm 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 a sucker for like the old Marvel style art, the like the Marvel uh, Star Wars comics from like the eighties or wherever. Ooh, there we are. We got two of the Bounty Hunter. I see double again. Ooh, and we've got concept art. Oh wait, well, yeah, I think I think that's a double as well, unfortunately. E and the back one is the armor, which I think is also a double. Okay, not. Not the strongest pack there, but you know what? You know, average packs make really cool packs even even cooler. Uh, you've got to, you know, it's you know as they, as they say, you've got to suffer sometimes to enjoy not not suffering. Ah, that was very wise words there. Uh, I remember a quote that. Never someone is sad. We've got Discovering Toro's Change of Plans. I couldn't quite read that then. I thought I said Toad for a second. I was like, what? We've got <laughs> Little Green Button Pusher. Very cute. He does like to push buttons. And he is little and he is green. Paid in Beskar Steel. Which, to be honest, is pretty cool. Oh, there we are. We've got uh, Searching for Padawan again. So we are going to hit a lot of uh, dupes as well, I think. Keeping her word, we've had that before. Uh, yeah, it's shoot out to escape. I believe we've had that. Hey, a powerful connection. Yes. Ooh. Uh, hey, okay, we, we've got Banther again, which is the creature thing. Uh, I think we had this. I think that was the first comic one we pulled. Ah, ooh, let's go. There we go. We've got Ashoka Tano. Very nice from season two. Ah, oh, that's really cool. So uh, I guess I'm going to order them in my binder according to the checklist. So it'll be like season one and two cards, then character cards and stuff like that. So it's gonna it's gonna look pretty nice because as you hit like the back of the binder. Oh, I'm sorry, Grogu destroyed this pack as well. Um, yeah, as as you hit the back of the binder, it's where you're gonna get like the the flashier stuff. Um, right, so we just flip these two forward, basically. Uh, I don't know if all the packs did that, or maybe I'm just learning, but I don't know. The Incinerator Trooper. Very cool. He's, he is on fire. In the dark of Irel Motto. Relly Motto, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, um, she's that mechanic that wants, basically, that loves uh, Grogu. Oh, IG-11. There we are. It's not IG-88. It's, uh, it's IG-11. 
All right, next up we have The Legend Returns. What a legend, because he is a legend. Uh, hey, here we go. We've got Coming uh, coming of the cra Crate, yes, because it tore through that city, or town, I suppose, frontier town. Um, we've got Dropping into Trask. Uh, I don't quite remember what Trask was. Um, there's, there's so many planets and stuff that like they go to in the Mandalorian that I do I do get confused. Uh, speeder bike pursuit. So this is probably the start of the other one where they were chasing the transport, and then the other one where they're fighting on top of the tra transport. Yo, let's go. We got the Jedi revealed. Who's that guy? I think I've seen him before. Uh, next up, unfortunately, actually, when I watched season two, I I knew Luke was in it. I'd heard uh, someone just mention it, I was like, god oh, damn. Anyway, oh, concept art, that's adorable. That's Ashoka meeting uh, Grogu. I do, whilst I liked Ashoka in uh, The Mandalorian, because I'm so used to seeing her in, like, in animated form, I do like the sort of animated versions of her a little bit better. Yo, we've got Moff Gideon. That's really cool. Kind of a shame. Oh, actually, this is probably season one. So, yeah, okay, that would make sense. I was going to say, it's a shame we don't see him with his dark saber, but that was more of a season two thing, I guess. Right, we've got two regular packs left. And then we'll jump on to the parallel, uh, guaranteed parallel ones. Unless, the only thing I can think they mean, right, is that I've just pulled parallels, like regular parallels, and not kind of like red or gold or blue parallels or whatever they are, I don't know. Uh, anyway, we've got crossing out, crossing out the kids? Grossing out the kids. I I was like, crossing out the kids? What, were they assassinated? But no. Uh, oh, I don't know, assassinated. Uh, the Assassin Reborn. <laughs> Look at that. Hoping to help, and he was some help. Uh, we've got another meeting with Grief. Very nice. Oh, yes. The Crate Dragon attacks. God, the Crate was so cool. Like that. Honestly, the Crate Dragon episode was, I think, one of my favourite in season two. Despite the fact it's like fully contained or whatever. But uh, yeah. Bo Katan revealed again. Oh, tools. Hey, we've got Beskar armour. That's cool. I like the Beskar armour. Um, I kind of want to get a Mandalorian figure, to be honest. I know there's the Black series, but I think it's a bit expensive now, because it's not really, you know, new. Anyway, we've got a Dewback, who is an alien and creature. Ooh. Oh, wait, we've got three special ones. Okay, we got Concept Art. Dude, that's really cool. What uh, episode? Oh, Chapter 1. Hey, there we are. That's literally from the very first chapter of Season 1. And we have a remnant stormtrooper. Very cool. I, I do love how like dirty and just grimy the universe looks in the Mandalorian. I haven't watched the Book of Boba Fett yet. I've I've heard kind of mixed things about it, which is surprising, because like the Mandalorian everyone loved. Um and understandably so. But like the book of Boba Fett, I don't know, I've heard a few people say like it's good but it's not on level with the Mandalorian. I'm gonna give it a watch anyway. Because uh, you know, I, I do love me some Star Wars. Oh, they're the right, right way wrong this time. Showdown in the streets of Navarro. I think this is near the end of the first season, right? When the like Empire tries to raid him. Pursuit and escape? Ah. Oh. Honestly, space scenes in Star Wars films are always beautiful. Like, it's one of my favourite parts of them. We have, on breaking in, ah yes, he's, he's like scans himself, doesn't he? Takes off his helmet. Secret Bounty, uh, that's when he first meets Grogu, I want to say. We've got the Ice Beast Returns, ah oh, yeah, that creepy spider thing. Oh, that, that was an interesting episode as well. It's, uh, you know, pieces of the puzzle, ah yes. He helps them. Oh, hey, there we are. We we have that Bantha card again, boys. Yeah, and it's that comic thing. They must be like 
in groups then, if that makes sense. So you get like Banther and you get that comic cover. We have a proper goodbye. That was the first card we pulled actually, and ironic because it's our last uh, one as a goodbye as well. And we have Mayfeld. Uh, cool, yeah, he, he helped them out on the missions and stuff in season Wait, no, he helped out in the um, the bank heist as well, didn't he? Uh, not the bank heist, the jail heist. Anyway, I'm going to clear these away now, and we'll look at the last two cards, BRB. Okay, so I, I said to actually look at the back and try and work out what the premium parallel cards were. So it turns out that in the last slot, because you always get the parallel thing, you get things with different borders on, I believe, and they're numbered, and it gives you the rates here. And also, crystal cards are 1 in 12 packs, so we actually did pretty decent. Uh, we'll be opening 11 packs overall, but that was 9 packs, technically, of the regular ones. So, I, I kind of beat the odds there, and that gives you odds for every type of pack. I mean, the gold one is insane. That's like a lot of packs, but, you know, it's good to know, though. So, um... I guess there are bordered ones. I'll kind of look into that yellow bordered one then. I don't think it was gold bordered, obviously. Um, and try and work out what exactly it is I pulled. Because I swear I had a border on it, but I couldn't see any like extra number. But then maybe I'm just not looking. Maybe I'll look online or something. So I'm guessing the parallels are going to be in the regular parallel slot of the pack. So I'll open it this way. I'm just going to decimate this. Uh, yeah, there we are. That looks like a regular start to it. Oh, okay. Wow, we've not seen this one before. By goodness, I don't know how many comic covers there are, but... Oh, there we are. Oh, okay, we've got a uh, proper goodbye as well. That was very sad, to be honest, the, the goodbye. Oh, yes, there he is. An unacceptable snack. Yes, because there was a literally baby's Grogu. That is, that is literally the spawn of a frog lady. IG-11 again. Very nice. Ooh, yeah, the legend returns. That again. I think, yeah, pinned down by Imperials. I think we've had a lot of these now, but you know. Uh, Bounty Bait. Okay, that's that's a new one, I want to say. Ooh. So we have two, three of them. Okay. Well, this is the first one then. Hey, IG-11. Very nice. Very cool. So I'm purposely trying not to read the names of the cards, if that makes sense, because they're uh, looking away. So that's not a bordered one, I don't think. Next up, oh, okay. Hey, we've got the child. I don't think I pulled a uh, parallel of the child. Obviously got the crystal, but... Hmm. Hey, there we are. Ah, Mayfield again. Mayfield. Cool. Well, there we go. That's, I'm glad we opened that one now and not last. So I think I might have been mildly miffed if, uh, you know, if we got Mayfeld on the end. Uh, not that he's not a cool character, he, he kind of is, I guess, in a sense. Uh, right, what will we end on? So I guess this is literally just throwing in an extra two parallels, because we got three parallels there. You're guaranteed to get one in every pack, so... Uh, oh, right, okay, we got tools, and we got, oh, Whispering Birds, dude. So those are the, like, silvery things he shoots out that track, aren't they? Uh, oh, he's in Aliens and Creatures. Well, I mean, you guess he is, yes, but Mithril, very, very nice. He helped them with the uh, supposedly out uh, disused Imperial thing, but not. We've got pieces of the puzzle. There's Mithril again. Ah, there we are, there's... Uh, the Pirate Assault, yeah. We've got the Negotiation. Very nice, we pulled that before. We've got, uh, ooh, the, the Village Sanctuary. That's new. There we are, we haven't seen that before. Hey, we've got the Mission Begins. That, hmm, I don't know, that, that might not be the uh, Jail Heist, actually. So, our first parallel. Ooh, it's upside down. That looks like a silver border, right? Or is it just me? Maybe... Maybe it always comes like that. But we have bo -Katan. Very nice. Do we do we pull her in parallel? I can't remember. But that's really cool. I don't know if silver border is actually a border or not. Our next... Ooh. 
Dude, that's really cool. Zero, um, zero? Zed. Uh, Zed. Who is, what is Zed from? Okay, maybe season one? Two, no, two. Don't remember Zed. It's, I genuinely don't remember this character. It's really cool, though. Was this, this wasn't one of the Mandalorians, right? I don't know. Anyway, and our last one. Ooh. Hey, we've got like a yellow border, I guess, not a gold one. But we have Cosca Reeves. So she's, uh, she's Bo-Katan's second in command or whatever, I do believe. The other one along with Fennec, I presume. And I go have a very quick check. So actually thinking of it, this looks like a yellow border, and I do remember reading actually that yellow bordered things are unnumbered. So, I think we have pulled a couple of yellow border ones, which are like the lowest rarity of the rare coloured borders, if that makes sense. But that's that's pretty cool though. I'm, I'm happy that we've pulled some yellow bordered cards, which are technically a different rarity to the regular parallels. Well. That's been a lot of fun, to be honest. I'm going to go fill up my uh, binder in a second, but we'll end with probably the best pull, which is the uh, the Child Crystal card. That is... Oh, that's so amazing. That is very cute. Uh, honestly, I, I love cards that are, like, see-through and stuff, because this is more plastic. The others are more cardboard and stuff. But, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching and sitting uh, sitting through all of this. I took a while, but, you know, this is my first time with this card uh, card series, so just want to take a look. I might buy a couple packs in future, because, I mean, you can always pull the coloured, bordered versions of parallels, so, you know, I'll see how it goes. I'm going to go chuck these in the binder now and see how many I end up with. Uh, so I've got a couple more videos in the works in future. They're not really Mandalorian themed or Star Wars themed or even necessarily trading card themed but I do have some coming up. So I'll leave a playlist up there for my Look At series which this is part of and I'll leave a mysterious uh, video at the bottom there and I'll leave you all get on with it. So until next time this is the way.